Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today I want to show you one of the most exciting features that I've seen in Blender 4.0. This new feature lets you control your camera or navigation while you're doing operations like moving or rotating or even scaling. Uh, let me show you. So for example, if I'm in a very awkward position here and I say I want to move this uh, to this space here and I, I have hit grab but I can't see where I want to move it. I don't have to snap out and uh, move the camera. I can just move while i'm moving i can hold on out and then use my navigation keys to move the camera around while i'm still in the movement operation and uh, now i can move this around while i'm viewing it from a better angle i can also do this while i'm rotating so for example if i'm rotating this i can hold on out and use my navigation keys and move around the scene like that and then now i can rotate this from a different rotation maybe i'm moving this down and I uh, want to see from the different angle, just hold on Alt and then your navigation. It works for scale as well. As you're scaling, you can hold on Alt and then your navigation and navigate the way you normally navigate your scene. It also works in edit mode and uh, other operations. For example, if I'm extruding, I don't have to first confirm my extrusion. I can hold on Alt and then navigate my scene to see this from a different angle and continue the extrusion. And so if I'm scaling this down, I can hold, also hold on Alt and then continue navigating the scene while I still have control over the scale. For some operations like uh, in set, it doesn't work. If you're doing a bevel, Control B and I uh, use Alt and then navigate, it will not work uh, as well. I, for more things like extrusion, it's really, really helpful. Uh, I can just hold on out and navigate to a different angle and I see how things are, are looking. So that's great. And another great new feature that I really love is this set snap base feature. So for example, if I want to move this object to this point here, hit G for grab and then B and set a snap point and now I can just move this around. But now I'm in, in a really awkward position. But guess what? We are in Blender 4.3 so I can just hold on out and uh, just navigate uh, to a better angle or a better view. Now I can snap this to y where I like. It's really, really useful. And uh, it's not just uh, in object mode, you can also do this in uh, edit mode. So for example, uh, let's say I have an, an object, I, I have another sphere here and I want to place maybe one of these somewhere here. I can just come in here and select uh, a snapping point. Again, hit G, B, I'll just select that as the snapping point and uh, move this at where I want. Again, I'm in a very awkward position uh, view angle. I'm going to hold down Alt and I uh, just reposition myself uh, like that. This is what I like about Blender. It's always uh, making small improvements that help a lot. This also works when you're duplicating things. If I select this and I want to duplicate this uh, to this position here, all I have to do is use Shift D and uh, that will make give me a copy. After using Shift D, I can use B uh, to set a snapping point uh, like that. And now I can just move that copy as well. Shift D, Shift D, and then B. I'd select a point and I can move that as well. So you can see how useful this is. Uh, again, snapping point. And at any point, if you want to, uh, if you want a better viewing angle, all you have to do is use Alt, hold down Alt, and I uh, use your navigation uh, keys, zoom. Uh, rotate, orbit, and pan. Uh, they will all work And while you are still in the operation. Uh, so I'm still in the snap operation, so I can select another point. And yeah, look at that. Amazing, amazing, yeah. So if you want to make a, a river, a beach, a lake with some dynamic water, try self-fluid. It's going to give you this real-time fluid solver that, that comes with materials and everything set for you. It basically does everything for you. You can create rivers, waterfalls, and uh, lakes, a beach uh, with just a simple mesh. All in real time, you don't have to bake or anything. Uh, anyway, if you are still in the mood of watching more Blender tutorials, here are some of my previous tutorials uh, that you might find interesting. Thank you for watching.